The owners of a Manhattan home spent part of today assessing the damage to their home after it was struck by lightning. It happened yesterday afternoon. It's the second major fire caused by lightning in the past three weeks. New at 6, KSND News' Katya Like found there, these types of fires are more common than you might think. She joins us now from Manhattan. Katya? This is the house that caught fire after being hit by lightning yesterday. I spoke with the owners and they're still in shock and disbelief. Luke and Kennedy Rogers were still somewhat stunned today as they looked at what was left of their home on Brookridge Drive. They'd been out of town and were returning home when they got the call from a neighbor. Their house had been struck by lightning and was on fire. I was in shock. I was like, N no way. <laughs> Had all the houses and everything, lightning bolt hits my house. After almost two years, the couple's first home is now no longer safe to live in. There's a lot of smoke damage and everything, so, and we, we don't know what we can salvage quite yet. Unfortunately, the Rogers story is not all that uncommon in a state that is subject to frequent lightning storms. But we usually have five to ten a year uh, lightning strikes or reported strikes on homes. And about half of those will end up starting in a fire. The problem, says experts, is that there may not be an immediate fire. The strike may have started a small smoldering fire, which can later erupt into something much larger. So we want to make sure that people always, if they think they've been struck by lightning or their neighbor's house was struck, to go ahead and call the fire department. As for the Rogers? Obviously cannot live here mm -hmm. until all the repairs are done. So we're kind of waiting on insurance things to get worked out. The couple tells me that they're going to be staying at a friend's house until they figure out their next move. Now, this home was the, cu was the couple's first home, and they've only been here for less than two years in Manhattan. Katia like. KSNT News. Thank you, Katia. And firefighters say the total damage to the home is about $100,000.